proceed to part two of engine assembly for the 390 FE engine. Um, we already have three pistons in. Uh, the battery was dead, so we just started while the battery charged, and we, you know, cut our groove with it. So uh, I'm not going to, in case you didn't notice, specify any kind of torque settings or anything like that, because I'd hate for somebody to use our torque settings for their engine that's different, and then fuck everything up so I'm not gonna get that specific just more of a, a process so the process for putting these pistons on includes first checking the ring end gap being within the right tolerance with the specific pistons that I have for this you have to calculate the ring gap for the top ring um, so far we've only had to file one but uh, sometimes you gotta file it down and deeper it to make sure that it's in the right tolerance. There's all kinds of sources online for your torque settings and, and gaps and stuff like that but I have the original factory manual, which I trust more than any of the other books or, or websites or anything like that. So that's what we're using. So after we've got the ring in gap, we use the ring compressor tool to squish it down, pop it in, and then we hammer it in and guide it really carefully and make sure that it's got a lot of baby poop engine assembly grease on it so that it doesn't kill everything. <laughs> Uh, so that's basically what we're doing. We're almost half done putting the pistons in. Yay! Did you get everything you needed? <coughs> hey! Come here, be careful! Andy's been yipping at me and yipping at me. Be careful! Don't want to fall down out here. Yep. So for a close-up view of what we're doing, you uh, use the assembly lube and grease up. Do the same, whichever piston you're getting ready to do. Do the same thing to the cylinder wall. Get the semi lube all rubbed in there. Gap the rings. Install the bearings onto the rod. Grease them up and then once you get it shoved through delicately using the ring compressor tool that holds it together and then you shove it through. Then put the bearing on the cap and torque it down. So that's what we'll be doing. Mm -hmm. 